talk more about the U.S. airstrike that killed the Iranian General Soleimani with NBC News reporter Hans Nickel, who is with President Trump right now at a campaign rally in Miami. Hans, thanks for making time for us. Uh, late today, the president said, quote, we took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. What are you hearing from military leaders and White House officials about this military strike? Well, the idea inside the Pentagon is that you've restored deterrence and that really since the early in the summer, Iran was more aggressive and they kept pushing, they kept pushing and they thought they could get away with it. And then that could potentially spiral out of control. What the president seems to be suggesting is he's put Iran back into a box. The term they use in the Pentagon is a deterrence box. Now, whether or not Iran is actually in that box, we need to wait 24, 48, maybe longer. Uh, because we don't know ultimately how Iran is going to respond to this. What we do know is that laced within the president's comments, he spoke directly to the Iranian people. He also said that he had targets inside of Iran already identified. And that's an indication that the president is prepared to escalate. Yes, he says he's coming in peace, but he's also saying that he is prepared to take this to the next level. And perhaps the biggest message the president has made all day is sending another 3,000 airborne troops from the 82nd Airborne out of Fort Bragg, sending them to Kuwait. They could be within Baghdad within hours. Guys? Hans, we know that uh, Democrats are not happy about this. They did not, they were not briefed about this military strike, and they're questioning whether or not the president has legal authority to, to have done this uh, airstrike. Is this just politics on the Hill? Well, partly. Uh, you know, the fault lines on the issue of the War Powers Act really go back three or four presidents on whether or not the president has the inherent authority to take strikes like this. What President Trump has done is not just not inform them beforehand, but he's almost saying, suggesting that they can't be trusted. He did that in a tweet today. Now, that will inflame tensions. I would just add that tensions are pretty high on Capitol Hill. The president's been impeached, and he's facing a Senate impeachment trial. So, yes, uh, it's not going to do anything to smooth relations out, but it's hard to see how relations can get much worse. And the president thinks he has legal authority, and there isn't really an international body, an international court, that can question or reprimand him. So, as of now, the strike took place, and uh, we now are dealing Ladies with the aftermath. Hans Nichols, we appreciate your insight. He's with President Trump at a campaign rally in Miami. Thanks again, Hans.